very good afternoon to all our dear participants thank you for sparing time to hear about all our universities this is anuradha and i will be talking about the uh, reasons why you should suggest california state university east bay to your students firstly and mostly california is a very popular state and most indian students want to study there themselves so the ones who want to be in the west coast of the united states please do recommend this particular university as you can see it is the heart of the bay area csuev having three campuses hayward is the main the other two are concord and oakland so this is very well located it's a 30 to 40 minutes drive from san francisco and this another very plus point for indian students is that it has mild weather year around and not extremes which can uh, attract more indian students as they are used to that kind of weather in our own country and of course it has a beautiful um, view of the san francisco bay so there are some points which you must mention to your students while promoting the universities other than that um, uh california state university offers high academic standards good student life balance and a diverse culture also california as a state boasts as one of the largest economies in the world and is the international epicenter for entertainment information education and technology industries so these are points which must be highlighted to students who are looking at studying in the west coast coming down to the background of this university it is a very old public university established in 1957 they offer over 100 academic programs both ug and pg and they have a very comfortable student faculty ratio for both ug and graduate courses as you can see on the screen it's 28 to 1 to for ug courses and 17 to 1 for graduate courses now uh, we have already spoken about reasons why they should consider cal state these are just some additional um, points you can highlight low cost high quality education and this is a part of a 23 campus california state university system it's the largest university system in the us again continuing on the same topic why choose it there are a lot of reasons which are displayed on the screen but i would just pick up the top reason it's ranked the best in the entire west and best business school by the princeton review so this alone is enough for students to be very attracted to this particular university also i would like to add that um, in the previous academic year 22 23 over 770 students were approved for the opt and stem opt programs so this will give every student all the deserving students a good uh, opportunity to work while studying also as we mentioned it is the silicon valley uh, these are the 22 23 placements that have happened which include all the top uh, fortune 500 companies here which can be mentioned and highlighted um, to the prospective students then again uh, california boasts uh, about its uh, ethnicity its race there are students from all over the globe so it's a very diverse student body that every student will be exposed to over here now coming down to the courses as we discussed that they offer more than 100 courses the popular undergraduate courses are displayed on the screen and uh, the ones which are red star denote the stem fields which uh, are for the science students and these are just some of the popular ones mentioned but otherwise csu offers 40 plus undergraduate courses for students to choose from coming to the admission criteria uh, the english proficiency for the ug courses will be a minimum of 61 ibt or a minimum 6.0 for ielts for freshmen it's a 12 year elementary and secondary schooling with a minimum of 3.0 gpa which is very easily uh, achievable by any st indian student 
also um, i would like to highlight transfer students students who are already studying in the us but want to take a transfer to this university they would just require a minimum gpa of 2.0 sat and act are not required since this is a ug course also personal statements letter of recommendations not required so um, the other uh, very important point is the international undergraduate scholarships are available but they need a separate application which the study metro team will completely guide you about next coming down to popular graduate courses as you can see we have mba mba is a very popular uh, program that students want to do and we have seven concentrations in mba along with that there are uh, master courses in all these particular subjects that you can see again these are just a few mentioned otherwise they have 25 plus courses that they can offer at the masters level coming to the uh, basic admission criteria for graduate admissions here the english proficiency will be a minimum of uh, 80 ibt for toefl and 6.5 for ielts this is what you need to keep in mind while uh, looking at the students uh, academic documents then i uh, just like to highlight that unlike the ug courses which have very simple requirements pg courses will have requirements as per the subjects chosen we have every single detail and the study metro team of counselors will guide uh, our partners for every uh, detail regarding these particular requirements so we have ms of engineering 2 again we have different um, entry criteria which will be guided at the time of the application as i mentioned uh, mba is um, has seven concentrations so it has very interesting subjects right from analytics to finance to general business human resource organizational behavior marketing operation supply chain strategy and innovation so this course is 18 months to 2 years and uh, the amount of the gre would be required for an mba course but students who have a five plus experience will be uh, Have a waiver for the GMAT. Program also available. A one-year MBA and an MBA dual program. Both of them are programs, and students are studying subjects at the moment. Then we come to MS Statistics, Bio Statistics. Here uh, again, it is point zero GPA for the requirements. The letter of recommendation should be there. And the GR will be required only if the application is uh, lacking letter of recommendations or has a GPA below 3.0. Otherwise, it will not be required for this particular course. Then we have um, MA Interaction Design and Interactive Art, another very uh, sought after course that people are looking for. So again, this uh, being and um, graduate course. would need a cv statement of purpose uh, letter of recommendations and also an online portfolio of relevant work since this being a creative course so i again repeat all these uh, things will be guided by the study metro team at the time of the application also there are some students who have already done their bachelors in india but would like to pursue a second bachelors in that case there is an option in california state university and these would be the requirements of 80 toefl and 6.5 of ielts gpa would be 2.5 or better then talking about application deadlines now as it is the case with all us universities we have three semesters fall being the biggest where all programs are open followed by spring and summer so um, at the moment we are all concentrating on the fall semester so please keep in mind that the period is going on october to may first so please put your students to university mode but there are some batch programs where we have already finished with the deadline but a um, couple of them are still there like as counseling which is my first spring and summer session are available but we have limited course options now coming to the application checklist it's a very very easy application process you can apply online and 
non-refundable uh, $60 application fee. The official transcripts are required. Uh, of course, the official test scores, financial guarantee, item, consent form is requested once the student receives the admission letter. Now, uh, the application process, again, talk about, talking about it more, is very, very simple. Once we upload all the documents, um, we just need to wait for the uh, report from the university. So, uh, generally, it will take about one or two weeks for the university to revert with their results. And after that, um, the I-20 will be issued. That will take uh, maybe two weeks. Then coming down to a very important uh, point is again the tuition fees. So as you can see, it's all displayed on our screen where the UG courses, the basic tuition fee will be $16, I mean $16,509. And the, uh, along with the I-20, it will be $39,947. Now here the I-20 amount includes the living expenses as well as the health insurance. Similarly, it goes for the graduate and the graduate business programs. So we would need to explain this point and split it and tell the students. Please give me a second till I go to the next slide. Okay, now details on how to pay the health insurance, um, the you know the links for transfer, all these things will be provided by the study metro team. You will not, not have to worry about it at all. We will give you full support. Now coming down to how the fees can be paid, there are installment payment plans available. And we will also again guide you about the same. As you can see, the first installment, second and the third installment have particular dates which we need to uh, follow. Coming to scholarship portal, as I did mention in the beginning of a presentation, that we have a separate scholarship portal which we will have to apply. It's not a part of the application process. And um, most scholarships range from $300 to $3,000 depending on the GPA of the student. So automatically when they get their acceptance letter, this information will be communicated to them via the offer letter. Now global scholarships for international undergraduate students. This is something which has been introduced. And um, there are various um, scholarships as you can see on my screen. The Global Excellence Scholarship. Global Honor Scholarship, each of them, as you can see, details are given over here. And uh, also, I am just showing you some of the scholarship recipients in the last few recent years. Please give me a second till I move on to my next slide. Okay. Now coming to the campus, like of course, academic is the reason students are going to study there. But uh, the students, as well as the parents, specifically being from India, they are very, very involved in the children's uh, well-being other than academics. So it has a great uh, campus life. As you can see, a lot of clubs, a library student union, and they will have academic advising and career educational guides on job searches and host internships and career affairs as well. So at any point of time, if your child or your student is not going to feel left out, they will be guided for every single thing through these uh, particular guidances available there. Now, I'm, uh, on campus jobs, students may apply in the first semester and work up to 20 hours per week, which they can, uh, I mean, they can support themselves, basically. So uh, again, for this, they will be guided. Now coming to housing, there is on-campus housing as well as off-campus housing. And again, every single detail will be provided to the student. Well, when they are required information, we have the detail which we will let you all know. Again, adding on to uh, the comfort of um, the university over there is that in common areas with uh, a lot of options for their meals. So the other dining area, there are dining options on the campus as you can see. Another very important part in all the stresses of academics, students um, will have options for the recreation and fitness. There are a lot of options right in the indoor track to the basketball gym. So um, with all these amenities, the student is bound to have a very 
overall uh, personality development strategies for the university. Also, uh, the source of the international students field. As I already mentioned this point, there are departments for each thing, right? From uh, international education to academic achievement to student research. Every uh, particular department will guide the student as per their requirement. Now, for Indian students who go there, they will definitely be worried about the transportation to and from the campus. So as you can see, there are free shuttle buses from the campus to downtown. And um, it's going to be very, very convenient for them to reach their college on daily basis. Also, again, talking about um, how well connected um, CSUEB is from the Bay Area airports. So there are three airports where the students would have a choice to land and this uh, it'll just be a drive away, a taxi drive away from the university location. If you'll have any questions, please do feel free to ask me. Also, uh, everything regarding the health insurance uh, enrollment, all these details, we will guide you stepwise at the time of admission. Now, uh, resources for the agents, that's our partners. So all these particular um, URLs will be shared with you so that you all can study it in depth and ask us any queries that you may have later on. And lastly, I would um, like to tell you that I will be available on email as well as on WhatsApp or a call on this particular number. So please feel free to reach out to me or my study metro team for any assistance regarding any of the universities, but specifically about CSU eBay, you can reach out to me. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. If anybody has any question, they can uh, put it in the drop box, chat box, or else we are moving forward to the next presentation.